Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today is all about hair and hair styling. So recently I have had my hair cut. I just wanted to talk a little bit about that and then following that just take you over a little bit of a plan of mine what I've got coming up very, very soon. So first things first, I have recently had my hair cut after a long, long time, in fact probably years, of having an undercut. But cut to about here so if you think about it I had just this short up to about here just sort of at this point here so I had about an inch maybe two inches here of longer length hair hair which I used to pull through into the style you'll know from my channel I really really like pompadour styles I like a lot of volume on the top and as you'll see today I've got that real defined line which is very very new for me and then the hair taken up on one side and then a very very defined line again with the hair taken up lots of volume in the front and in fact the front is so long now what i've done is i've dried one side in and on this side with the longer side i've took it up and i've swooped it over to the side right the way into this point so it literally swoops upwards and then back on itself and i just think that whole sort of look and style i really really like now up until recently this style particularly when i'm sort of leaning over like this to the side you can really see the shine with the product which i've used today you can see that real dark sort of intense color really really i like it what's going on at the moment for me, it looks great as well when I do those 1910s, 1920s inspired slick back looks and side slick back looks. So the, the whole new thing for me was I had my hair cut. So my hair was way past my bottom lip. Um, I had that cut up. So about, about half an inch I had that trimmed. Then all throughout my hair, I had the weight cut out of it and I had a lot of chipping into and texturizing. And if you're not necessarily sure what that means, if you've got a long length of hair, say for example this length, that length of hair is kept, but it's the hairs which are in between which have been cut. And when I say that, I mean if you imagine the hair length this long, and then inside you've got all hairs which have been cut, and then at all different lengths. So, for example, you may have some short, you may have some at this length, and a bit more, and then you've got your full length of hair. That's what's happened throughout my hair here. So, I've really had it cut into right away from the front to the back. Straight away, when you feel it, you really do feel that. Oh, I've had a lot of weight cut up my hair. It's not going to be as thick anymore. It can be a little bit daunting if you've got fine hair. If you've got thin hair, I've got fine hair. I've got a lot of it, so I can afford to have that cut into. But let me reassure you in saying that if you've got fine thinning hair, sometimes having your hair cut into. So when I say that very often, they would use thinning shears to cut into the hair. Very often that sounds crazy, but actually that can help thin hair, particularly if you're thinning as well. Because what that can mean very often, if you've got a longer length of hair, Sometimes just coming straight down to a shortcut isn't for everybody. Shortcuts aren't for everybody. So if you've got longer length hair and you like a bit of volume in your hair, whether you're a man or a woman, predominantly I'm talking about men here, if you have got hair which is thinning, you've got a higher hairline and it's thinning on the top, but you want to try and hold on to your hair, using all those caffeine-based shampoos, you're taking vitamins for your hair, you've been to the doctor, you've got no health problems, and you're just dealing with generally thin hair. If you've got that, which can happen for a number of reasons, have a look at Viviscal, for example, which I'm taking, which is a hair growth supplement, uh, which is fantastic. I'm really, really seeing some great results for that. And I'm about, I would say, just coming up to my fourth, I think we're about three months, three weeks, maybe a little bit less than that. So I would have to look at the dates of when I started it, but I haven't got that. Anyway, besides the point, Viviscal for men. If you are having problems with thinning hair, have a look at it. It is absolutely amazing. Getting back to what I'm saying, very often if you were to have thinning shears pass through your hair and you have got fine hair, what's really, really great about that is that the actual hairs, if you haven't had that done, sit very, very flat. It's difficult to get any styling in the hair. Whereas if you've had thinning shears cut into that hair, even though it's fine and thin, what you're doing is you're keeping the length, but those hairs which have been cut shorter in between the hair are actually supporting the longer length. So it actually makes the hair appear more thicker, more fuller. My phone's just gone off, not what I wanted throughout my clip, so I'm just going to turn that on silent. I do apologise. Um, but absolutely, and you know, that's a really, really good tip. So if you take anything away from this tonight, uh, or this afternoon rather, um, well, late afternoon, early evening, you know, a little bit of an awkward time of an evening. <laughs> but if you take anything away from that clip, I absolutely urge you, don't be scared of cutting into your hair, or professionally, I say, having your hair chipped into, thinned out, whatever they call it, because different places call it different things. But relatively, it does mean the same thing. And it really does help give you that new lease of life, that new body, that texture in your hair, which everybody, whether men or women, you're looking for. It really helps that appearance of really creating good looking hair. So for me, what I had done, the major thing, I had that all cut through the top. So 
when I first washed it, I thought to myself, it feels a lot less dense now. But when I came to drying it, wow, what a difference. I was very, very used to using so much spray, so much wax product just to keep my hair up. And then it would start to flop. So I'd have to go it back into the bathroom shortly after, spray more free spray, spray more product. And I was using more product. Now, because my hair's cut into, it helps me so much more by keeping my hair up higher. I don't actually have to use, and it's great because I love these pompadour styles, so I love a lot going on at the back, but I keep that quite flat. And I love all the volume at the front, so as you see here today, I've got it swept off to one side and then swept this side, but I've got it swooped over where it's so long, it then comes to a point just around here, so it kind of wraps this side, and underneath it wraps on top of it. And I just love the way that kind of looks, and I've got loads of free spray on, so it gives a really nice shine. I hope you agree, it looks really cool. Um, but what I have said, since having that hair chipped into, using a blow dryer, a root lifting spray if you've got one, doesn't matter if you haven't got one, you will see the difference because those shorter hairs in and amongst here are supporting the length up here. And it really does. Actually, I don't have to use so much product. I have to use product, of course, but I don't have to use as much as I was using before my hair was chipped into and cut into, which is great. So if you are worrying about that and you have got really fine hair, go for it. If you've got really thick hair, great jump in with it but if you've got fine hair talk to a professional and they can you don't even have to have loads of it done like cut through the hair thinning out may only just need a few several passes with the thinning shears through and what that does is it just cuts the bulk of the hair off, but it doesn't affect the length and those shorter hairs in between support the rest of the hair so it is great even if you've got fine textured hair you can still have that style and that look of volume and real stand-up hair like what i've got today Okay, and if you are actually finding that you're finding it really difficult as well, another one as well is the fine sort of uh, lifting sort of dust products, which I have got. It's in like a small container. It's by Got To Be Schwarzcroft, and it's like a like a styling, um, what's it called? Like a styling dust, and you sort of tap it all through your hair, um, and that really helps, uh, really volumise, and and really, really gets the hair really standing away from the scalp. So if you are interested in that, do leave me a comment and I will let you know the product details as well. And it is a really, really amazing product. And of course, there's so many things as well that you can really help texturize your hair and really have great looking style of hair, even if you may have thin or thinning hair as well. So what's really great about the style, which I really am getting used to and I'm really, really liking, is that for a long, long time, for quite some time, I was keeping my hair to about just shaved up to this point. And then I had a real defined line, if you remember, if you were watching my channel, and then it came really Around to a defined point here. I've still got that defined point in the back of my head, but it's much higher. And I really do like that because I wear hearing aids. I wear the one with the wire at the back of my head at the moment. And I've got a whole collection of different hearing aids though, but I really like the first thing that people see rather than hearing aids is the style of my hair at the back. And you know what? I thought to myself, I could do a bit of a change. So after speaking with the, uh, the lady, the professional which does my hair at where I go to get my hair cut, she suggested that we'd done something different because by the time I had a haircut after the COVID-19 uh, coronavirus pandemic, this was really, really grown out. And at home, I was keeping it just that nice defined line. But we were getting real low and it was getting really low at the back of my head, nearly actually towards the bottom of my neck, actually just a little bit sort of shaved. But um, it looked good throughout the time where I couldn't have my haircut. But I really wanted something new and different. And we're going to keep on to that in just a moment because I've got something else to talk about, too. But rather than having it here, as you can see, I've had it shaved right up to here. So literally right on the top of my head now, it's been shaved. And all the hair you can see is just the hair on top of my head. There is no side hair in this anymore. And as you can see with this defined line, and it is, it is, I can assure you, it is a straight line, but I've got some sort of hairs just in the way here where I've used it today in my style. But it's a straight line on the top of my hair, uh, on the top of my head here. And then it's literally, I've got a, uh, let me just remember the numbers here. So I've got a 0, 0 0.5, 1, and then the very up top here is a 2. The thing what did get me a little bit at first when I first had it done, these hairs here have always in my whole lifetime, and you can just see it here, these hairs here, for my whole lifetime, you can see the line here, the top of my head. These hairs here, by the way, some of them are what I'm actually growing back through from taking Viviscal, 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 the hair growth supplement. Not all of them, I have to admit, um, but my hairline is really sort of thickening up and a lot of that's through stress this year as well. So I can't categorically say that it's through Viviscal, but I really want to say that my hair feels an awful lot fuller, a lot more healthier with taking the hair growth Viv Viviscal, can't even say that word this evening. Um, Viviscal supplements. So do have a look at that if you are concerned with that as well. But these short hairs here after my new revamp of haircuts were cut short. And for my whole time of having an undercut, they were really, really long. So very often these hairs were all down here, if not longer. So getting rid of that whole bulk, I think 
the hair was sort of to about here so this hair here was really long so it's really strange now even when I look at myself in the mirror and this hair is super short it's short as what the hair is down here but you know what since I've had that done it looks more modern it looks more trendy it looks really really cool it looks fresh and you know what I really really like it and through having the darker color which I will be honest is not my own color it's dyed because recently back along I was really getting fed up with the brassy color which was coming in my hair which is strange because if I have longer hair in the summertime it gets warmer and I, when I say that it warms up like real sometimes orangey tones um, but I have a real light neutral sort of brown colour like a mousy colour no warmth in there at all but as soon as summer hits it gets really really warm not the roots of my hair not the mids but the end lengths of my hair gets really really warm and brassy what do I normally do over summer season get it cut really really short so then of course that's cut out or if I do I get my hair cut into so it cuts some of that warmth of the colour out this year of course throughout the start of the season with the coronavirus pandemic haven't been able to do that so it was starting to get really warm really brassy and out in the sun in the garden of a weekend or of an evening it was really starting to really bug me and really wear me down I didn't like it at all so I decided to be quite radical and I thought to myself for a couple of days men don't necessarily dye their hair um is it is it a masculine thing to do is it is it sort of is it great for me and then I thought to myself do you know what it's my hair so what so I had a look for because um, I had I done some research online and I had a look for I was looking for uh, bear with me an ash color and apparently what that does is that neutralizes the uh, the warm sort of orangey brassy yellow tones in hair so I thought okay let's take that advice on and I didn't want something really permanent so I realized that semi permanent and demi permanent colors aren't necessarily so much of a commitment so they only last about 24 I think it was if I remember rightly 24 to 28 shampoos uh, or washing your hair rather uh, 28 washes out of your hair so what I done was I had a look and I had a look for and I finally found the color which was quite similar to myself was medium ash brown I believe and um, I put it on put it on um, asked for some help but of course the amazing mum <laughs> incredible bless her and um, that was sorted so got that done took it off it went really really quite dark darker than what I was expecting but you know what? I absolutely loved it I loved it more so when I had the sides cut shorter so you can actually see my hair um, my scalp through my hair here like you can now and it was styled in the top I was left with this really nice dark colour and I loved it because it really really fitted well with my 1920s 1910s slick back inspired looks I absolutely loved it wanted to keep it that colour all the time but very very quickly the colour was washing out and washing out and washing out I'm not going to be doing that again just really really liked the change but what I would say if you are thinking you're a man and you're sat at home and you're about my age I'm 27 by the way just turned 27 and you do like to look good and you want to make a trend or a, a change absolutely go for it I really really enjoyed it really really liked my hair really liked the style afterwards and I like the colour as it is now so absolutely if you're thinking about that go for it really really absolutely recommend it it brings a whole new lease of life to your hair and if you have got finer hair as well it makes the hair feel a bit thicker and it lifts the hair away from the scalp a little bit because of course you're plumping the hair out with color um moving on from that what i've decided to do because how i like my hair like this even though i do when i look in the mirror this year 2020 has been really, really difficult for everybody but i've had a lot of health problems going on in the background and you know when i look in the mirror I do feel really quite washed out, I do feel really quite down, quite flat, don't feel myself, don't feel quite cool, don't feel young, don't feel trendy, where do I stop? So I kind of thought to myself, let's try something new, something quite different, and had a look at some different hairstyles and things, and came across one similar to mine, and I have to admit, I'm quite fixated on the style of the pompadour look, it is me, people know me for this style, I really, really like it, and having that longer length, which is about down to my lip now, um, it allows me to do those slick back looks as well which I really, really like but something I came across when doing this type of style with a pompadour look or a roughed up or a modern pompadour or sort of even just wax through or even straight off to one side with loads of volume on the other was lighter pieces throughout the hair now this is something which I've tried to do once before with somebody um, and it was uh, I can't necessarily how long ago it was, I'm just trying to think now. It was a good couple of years ago, and this particular person is a uh, quite a, I, I believe, quite a new qualified hairdresser. Um, but she was very, very good at what she done and the way she styled my hair. It was incredible. And um, it was one of my, it was my, it was my brother's partner at the time. Um, and really, I, I listened and. Um, it was it was good but the result was not what I was looking for at all um, yeah 
probably less said about that the better to be quite honest with you um i can't say no to people and um somebody was kind of giving me the the she was kind of giving me the ideas and it would look really really good on you bradley let's try it and i thought do you know what yeah let's let's give it a try absolutely let's give it a try and i did and i ended up with i think it was a whole day of trying to rectify what had happened and um it was a really really orangey I'm not even going to say it was a blondie colour because it wasn't. It was it was meant to be sort of, I suppose, it was meant to be sort of lighter pieces throughout my hair, but it really wasn't. And, um, yeah, it wasn't great at all. It really wasn't great. And um, I hated it. And the next day, I got a darker colour and um, put that over my hair and uh, got rid of it. And, you know, that's the only, the only time I've done this now, this is the only time I've actually ever sort of done that myself. This time, because I fancied the change with the... the, the sort of brassiness in my hair previous time to that was when somebody tried to lighten my hair and it just went completely wrong and um the previous time to that was back in 20 i think it was 2015 when i was suffering with a patch of hair loss due to stress and i was coloring my hair because it was making that patch feel less obvious and it was kind of dyeing the scalp a little bit as well so i was doing it really really often and it was making my hair feel thicker and fuller so that's why i used it as well so i've not done it too many times but anyway getting back to what i was saying I really like the look of this type of pompadour style, or roughed up pompadour style, with lighter pieces throughout the hair. So I said this when I last had my hair cut, with the person who cuts my hair to where I go to get my hair cut. And um, I said, in fact, I, th I think I fancy something a bit different, a bit more cool or a bit more youthful. Um, and uh, I, a bit more sort of modern and sort of make me sort of lift lift me up a little bit make me feel a little bit more cool a bit more trendy and uh yeah i kind of had a chat have a few ideas brought up good old google and had a look at pompadour style with i think it was what we called it it was either scattered highlights or sky highlights skylights <laughs> um for men and when we had a look at it there were some really cool pictures on there and something which i'd really like to try out a lot of them with suits and things on and i am always in uh Outside of the coronavirus with jobs and things, I'm always with my line of work in suits and really smart formal attire. And I thought that would really, really suit me. Went away, thought about it, thought, no, that's not going to suit me at all. Not not into that at all. Just like the styling of my hair. And then I thought to myself, do you know what? Let's break that mould a bit. Why not give it a try? So when I went for my last haircut. So actually that, that chap must have been the haircut before. Just after um, we were able to, I think on the 4th of July, have our haircut. And, um, and this is when I went back and had my sides cut, I think. And I said to myself, I'll, I'll give it a think. And then when I went back and I thought about it, I thought, yes. I thought, yeah, let's give, let's give it a try. Let's absolutely give it a try. And, um, and what I will do on my next video, when you see my next video clip, what comes up on YouTube, that will be me. So yeah, that will be me. So have a look at it, because what's happening is tomorrow morning, half past eight, I am going in to have my hair changed quite radically. So I'm not 100% sure what's going to be happening, but it will be lighter. I don't want it all over at all. Strictly not all over. I don't want it to look like I've been sat in a chair for four hours having colouring done. I don't want it to look feminine at all. I want it to look cool, want it to look trendy, masculine, and I want it to look really kind of retro, kind of nice in the pompadour style as well. If I come out and I don't like it, I can assure you this colour will be being bought again and it will be going straight over the top of it. But having said that, let's have an open mind and let's see how it goes. But it's the style I'm looking for is all about sort of up through the front, I think. If you were to grab sort of your fingers through your hair, pull your fingers through your hair, and then sort of make that lighter, that would be really, really cool. That's what I would be looking for. So I don't really class that as highlights, but just sort of like that sort of blurred blend of lighter tones throughout my hair. It looks darker like this because I've got hairspray on it and free spray and all those type of products as well to keep it up this good. But if I don't say so myself, but like a lighter colour, a little bit like this, but lighter. So nice, sort of like a real nice, cool, icy sort of blonde look. I say that blonde to me always seems really vividly like white, but I don't mean that at all. Um, but yeah, really, really open, open and hoping for something really quite trendy, new. Help me. I'm having so many health problems at the moment and honestly getting around with my side and things is really, really difficult. So it's going to be difficult tomorrow even being sat in the chair, but I want to give it a go because I just feel so naff and rubbish at the moment. Um, so yeah, I am looking forward to it. It will be difficult with the problems I've got at the moment, but I do want to just go for it and give it a go. Um, and we will see. We will see. So my next clip 
you will see me in a completely different light and I promise as soon as I got it done I will be making a clip all about it. So thanks very very much for watching and until next time we will see you then. Bye bye now.